Swiss Armed Forces are making a significant contribution to peace support missions in Africa, including training courses. Wars are raging in Africa. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, South Sudan, the Central African Republic, Somalia and Mali, to name but a few countries, armed conflicts bring death, destruction and hopelessness to the population and force thousands to flee. On the African continent too, Soldiers and civilians contribute to international peace support operations that bring peace and stability. We're in Accra, the capital of the West African Republic of Ghana. Today, the city has more than four million inhabitants, which makes it the largest in the country. In 1957, Ghana was the first country in the region to achieve independence. Ghana is a success story. The country is stable, has a successful economy, and its military is closely involved in international peace support missions. Leaving the hustle and bustle of the city centre behind us, we drive to the periphery, to the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Centre, or in short, KPTC. In 2003, the Ministry of Defence founded the KPTC with international assistance. A multinational facility for preparing and training military, police and civilians for their deployment in peace support missions. Today the KPTC is the leading research and training institution on the African continent, embracing all aspects of both conflict research and prevention and peace support operations. The KPTC, named after former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, is a purely Ghanaian institution, under Ghanaian management, supported with international funding and human resources. At the centre's main entrance, we meet Colonel General Staff Christoph Gertsch. Since 2006, Switzerland has supported the KPTC by providing staff officers and instructors. The support Switzerland provides to the KPTC is important. Western Africa has been and remains an unstable region. Terrible civil wars are breaking out continuously, claiming thousands of lives and leaving mutilated victims and raped women and children behind. This is exactly where the KPTC provides assistance. It trains experts who can be deployed in conflict prevention and peacekeeping activities. These experts help to resolve conflicts, assist in reconstruction programs and support the re-establishment of democratic structures. Regional capacity building is very important and Switzerland's commitment in this context is positively welcomed. The core competence, capacity building. As the head of training, evaluation and development, Colonel General Staff Gertsch with his nine staff members is not only responsible for planning and organizing the courses offered by the KPTC, but also for their continuous improvement and development. We're curious and eager to visit the courses taking place. But first we meet Major Marcus Fisher, course director at the KPTC, who tells us about the greatest challenges he has to face in his job. There are various views regarding training methods. The greatest challenge consists in taking account of the living conditions and views of the people here, and also in teaching a different culture. We visit the introductory course on the paradigms of peacebuilding. The courses and seminars consider the causes and mechanisms in the fields of security, diplomacy, management, crime and corruption that might lead to conflicts. As the person responsible for training, evaluation and development, Colonel General Staff Getsch seeks direct interaction with the course participants, who originate from various African countries. Their feedback is important to ensure that training at the KPTC 
stays closely focused on the challenges in peace support missions in Africa. Each year, the KPTC trains around 1,000 staff members from military, police and civilian organizations who are involved in peace support activities in Africa. The Swiss Embassy in Accra. The Embassy staff members and the Swiss officers working at the KPTC meet regularly to exchange information. The most important is that in KPTC so a center of excellence it's important that the KPTC acts as a center of excellence in the region, providing training for peacebuilding missions in the area. The aim is to increase the involvement of African countries in peace support activities on their continent. Back at the KPTC, the commander invites us to participate in his regular meeting with the Swiss officers. He stresses the importance of the close cooperation with his international staff. We need collaboration with partners, like your great country. So financing is a challenge, and uh, we hope that uh, through this close collaboration between our two countries, we'll be able to count on your support, to be able to maintain because every good thing comes at a cost, and that is what we require. In 2012, Switzerland expanded their cooperation in a state treaty, and in this context has been providing the KPTC with the services of a third Swiss officer, an expert in e-learning, since autumn 2013. The KPTC can rely on Switzerland's continuing active support in its efforts to develop and successfully run internationally recognized peace support training courses, especially in Africa. <laughs>